And Transuelos is a weekly pop-up dinner series inspired by Baja Mediterranean cuisine. It's an intimate dining experience featuring everything from small plates to an interactive seafood cart. And here in our Studio 41 kitchen with a preview of what people are going to expect is owner and executive chef Stephen Sandoval. Thank you for joining us this Thank morning. Thank you guys. So yeah, we, we, were, we were talking about how people are really loving the Mediterranean cuisine, clean eating, fresh food, and yeah. now you're incorporating some Latin um, spices and, and, and getting people really excited about eating again. Yeah, I mean, you get the two great benefits. You get the flavors from Mexico, but you're also incorporating those light Mediterranean delicate dishes that you can kind of eat every single day um, without having some of those heavier sauces. So I like to combine the two. Um, growing up in San Diego, kind of seeing this evolution of Baja Med cuisine and then also having family from Galicia, Spain. So it's it's really fun, it's exciting, and it's something that you guys can really make at home. So oh, okay. wonderful. So what are you gonna make for us? Awesome. So I like to work with a lot of seafood. Yeah, Today I have snapper Ooh. that I got fresh from my fishmonger. Um, we're doing something that I do at the dinner events. Um, I work with a lot of seafood, obviously. Uh, we're doing a take on Salsa Veracruzana. So in Veracruz, there's a huge influence of Mediterranean flavors. That's where uh, Cortez came in in the 16th century, and that's really where all the trade came. So you get to see things like capers, olives, uh, white wine, Ooh. thyme, and things like wow. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's get started. I have the snapper already filleted that I filleted before the segment. I'm gonna oil it. Of course, when you do a fish, you can prepare it any way you'd like. You can steam it. I like to do a saute, and with the limited equipment here, <laughs> um, that's all I can do. What, so, kind of, what kind of oil is it? That is canola oil. Canola, okay. I use this because it has a higher smoke point. Okay. And with olive oil, sometimes it can come off as an off flavor when you are doing a high end saute. Okay. okay. So it's, again, okay. always having a very hot pan. We're gonna place the fish. What I'm also gonna do is press down on the fish lightly. Okay. And what does that do? Yeah. That dehydrates the skin and makes it crispy ah. so it can lay flat. So okay. a lot of the times when the fish is um, straight into a hot pan, it'll curdle and you'll have yeah. a really soggy skin. Yeah. Ah. So if I press it for a while, then it'll literally kind of stay in place and then dry out and make it nice and crispy. Oh, that, that would be great. That's a great yeah, yeah, you're ready to say a great So tip. I'm gonna let this go. What we also have here is our base for our salsa veracruzana. So this is a take on it. This is an olive oil base soft, almost kind of like a jardinera. But what I'm using is either Fresno condiments or red jalapenos will work. And I'm just slowly cooking it in oil. Um, the recipe you guys have, but it's almost like a one-to-one -one part oil to uh, chili. Then here you'll see the other ingredients. We have garlic and thyme. We have some olives, some sun-dried tomatoes, and some capers. Oh, all and my then again, things. the peppers are here for you guys oh, to see. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's okay. great. So this has been cooking for a while already, the chilies. So uh -huh. now I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients. So again, the thyme and the garlic are going in. We're going to add some of that sun-dried tomato. Mmm, that's so good. Mm -hmm. and so when you usually make this dish, you're going to use fresh tomatoes. It's going to be more of like a stew. We want something a little more Mediterranean. And so this is how we came up with this recipe for our events. And it pairs lovely. Which type of olive is that? Is that Kalamata olive or? Yes, it is. Okay. Kalamata. Okay. So you you talk about your events. They're nice, small, intimate yeah. events. So, you know, people really get to talk to you and talk to each other yeah. about the food that they're experiencing. Absolutely. So that's 20 seats. Um, and what we've come to find is that you can't have those real experiences where you're able to speak with the chef, talk about the ingredients, and really tell a story through each dish. And that's what I've really come to love. Um, we have interact with each guest. We talk to them um, in the beginning. We present different things like you can see right now, the oysters. We have the Arctic char there. And then we also do whole wood fire animal cooking. So I'll do like a whole pig oh, or a whole goat. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of my specialty is in seafood, Latin flavors, and wood fire cooking. All right, so each time you go to an event, you will come up with a, a different dish. Um, no, I do a menu about every uh, quarter. Oh okay. oh, okay. So here I, I just turned the fish, if you guys can see that. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I want like this because getting to talk to you, like we're learning things about this dish and stuff that we can incorporate into our own home cooking. Yeah, exactly. So it's a simple saute. 
you have just your cut up vegetables and then you can literally serve it with whatever you want. This, I believe, goes really well with white rice, some avocado, maybe a little cilantro salad. Yeah. And you have a nice meal for you and your family, especially in the time where people are trying to eat healthier with the new year. Yes. I think this is something that can be It's all relatively fantastic. simple ingredients, but together, mm -hmm. so good. So the, the event, um, how many courses are we looking at? So it's a little different. It, if you look at it by course, it's about 12 courses, but Ooh. we do a lot of stuff family style. So we'll do some individual plates uh, to begin with, and then once the guests get a little more comfortable with, with each other, then we start bringing out the whole fish, um, cool. the whole pig, and a few larger sides for them to enjoy. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah. and we're doing it at in collaboration with Realm. Um, it's an event space, so they've been kind of helping me out through the process, uh, process as I transition out of a executive chef position in a full-time restaurant. We only have about 30 seconds left. We want to make sure you get a chance yeah. to plate it if you can. So, we do have the fish ready. Okay. Oh, We're going to go ahead and go for the plate. I'm going to put it there. I have some fresh lime here. Oh, yeah. I have some avocado that I charred. Oh, yeah, that's good. I'm going to put that there. Okay. Now, charring the avocado, what does that do? Does it just it make gives it, it a little bit of um, kind of that burnt flavor, a okay. little bitterness that we kind of like and people are getting used to these days. And then, of course, the Veracruz sauce that we're going to put over the top. Oh, look okay. at that. And then we're just going to paint the dish like so. Oh, that looks fantastic. And I have a little roasted tomato that will go aside with it. Oh, beautiful. Oh, all the colors. a dish. So fantastic. fantastic. Chef Sandoval, thank yeah. you so much for joining us. Thank you guys for having me. Looks so all right, good. So the information is all there for Entre Sueños. It's Between Dreams. In Between Dreams. In Between Dreams. As we look to move into a full restaurant space. All right. Well, thank you so thank much. You.